Welcome back to Hannity. Breaking news out of Washington. A bombshell admission by the IRS. The tax agency is officially apologizing for subjecting conservative groups to additional scrutiny during the 2012 election. Jay Sekulow is an attorney and chief counsel for the American Center for Law and Justice. He represented 27 of the groups targeted by the agency. They admit they did it because you forced them to admit they did it. Well, we applied for our tax status in 2010. We waited 18 months. They sent these letters that wanting a lot of information they weren't allowed to ask us. Send us your Facebook pages, your Twitter pages. And I said, does that include personal pages? And they said everything. They wanted to know your personal relationships with politicians and political parties. And I asked, what would happen if I don't send this to you? And they said, and they made an insinuation like, look, it can be considered perjury if you if omit things from the IRS. And that carries with a jail <laughs> time. I'm a pregnant stay-at-home mother on one income. I thought, oh my goodness, I'm not doing anything. I stopped. That grant was then later pulled, not because of any Anything that I had done, but because the granting organization decided that they couldn't wait any longer. Um, in addition to that, I invested between thirty and fifty thousand dollars of my own money, all of which is for naught at this point. Well, tell us about the derivation of your organization's name, especially if you had liberty in there or something that the IRS found potentially right. problematic. Is this a has a crime been committed here? The attorney general has raised the specter that there could be criminality here, and that I guess will depend on what internally was going on at the time that these reviews were taking place. Lois Lerner oversees tax-exempt organizations for the IRS. Yesterday, she apologized to Tea Party groups, but said the IRS employees involved were not motivated by political bias. But they act like we're so stupid. They're saying things like this was not politically motivated, right? Because Media Matters somehow magically was not one of the organizations that was treated this way, only conservative groups were. According to an IRS official, organizations that specifically included the words, quote, Tea Party or Patriot in their tax exempt status were faced with additional reviews. You talked about bullying. This is this is bullying. This is Chicago thug politics. Is, is, this, this is what it is. I got a news flash for you. The IRS are the biggest profilers in the business. And if you have any kind of conservative leaning background, a Affiliation, they're going to target you and come after you. This isn't speculation. They're admitting it. The additional factor here that you have Supreme Court precedent since the 1950s that said that information is simply not to be given to the IRS. They either try to get you to not reply so that you just stop your application <laughs> or they, they, uh, they get you to disclose everything that this they want. This is, who did you know, who did you talk to, are you a member, or have you ever been a member of a conservative organization? If this just isn't a, a, a gathering of an enemies list, I, I don't know what is. As we find out more about this scandal, the scope of it is wider, and I guess the legal questions are wider along with it. What do you make of it all? There's numerous violations, both of the Internal Revenue Manual, of existing federal law, uh, potentially criminal law, including conspiracy to deprive individuals of their civil rights. And the fact of the matter is, I don't think this is going to get better. This is not like a fine wine that's going to age well. And as was pointed out, that these uh, so-called uh, determination unit specialists don't even know the very laws that they're supposed to be evaluating. So it's right. really, uh, it's an evil agency, and I hope the American people will get up in arms about it. It's uh, raising the level of distrust on the, uh, among the American people towards the IRS. As you know, with Obamacare coming down the pike, uh, I think something like 15,000 IRS agents are going to be hired basically to enforce Obamacare. If, in fact, uh, IRS personnel engaged in uh, the kind of practices that have been reported on, uh, and were intentionally targeting uh, conservative groups, then that's outrageous. So this whole narrative that the administration's putting forward, that Jay Carney keeps talking about, if the targeting happened, <clears throat> really is not an if. The, they've apologized for it, which, by the way, the apology is not accepted. Uh, they've apologized for targeting, so the president needs to stop the if and get to the reality here that this was a complete misuse of the Office of the Internal Revenue Service. I have not violated any IRS rules or regulations, and I have not provided false information to this or any other congressional committee. After very careful consideration, I've decided to follow my counsel's advice and not testify or answer any of the questions today. One of the basic functions of the Fifth Amendment is to protect innocent individuals. And that is the protection I'm invoking today. Thank you. Sign the petition to end IRS abuse at ACLJ.org.